What's up guys, Chaos here and welcome to episode 7 of the Journeyman Save. It's the first time of me recording in about 4 episodes because I did them in batch but I waited for this episode before we continued. So, we're going to talk about maybe changing jobs as you guys said in the comments. So, of course, let's roll the intro. Alright, so I want to say, firstly, thank you guys so much for the support on this over the last week. It's been absolutely unreal. Every time I look, the subs are going up 100 a day, the views have been brilliant. Like, you guys have absolutely smashed it this week. And I did not expect it to do as well as it has. But I've also been trying my best. I think we're on eight days in a row uploading, which, for a series like this, I'm pretty happy with. It's been a lot of work, but hopefully you guys are enjoying it as much as it looks like you are. So, we have some housekeeping to do. Firstly, I asked you in yesterday's episode... Do we stay or do we go? The overwhelming answer was go, but only to the right job. To someone that is actually secure financially, that's got good money, okay or secure or fine, and that can actually pay for us to improve our coaching stuff. Basically, people said, as long as I can get some coaching courses on the go, it doesn't really matter where I'm going. Obviously, we've got a lot of work to do with reputation and stuff like that. But um, the craziest thing for me is we are currently sat at 57% happiness with the board. But this episode, I mean, we have got some fixtures coming up, but nobody really cares because we are guaranteed to stay up now. We're going to be hunting for jobs. And that's all this episode probably will be. We may go through all of the summer. This is going to be a lot of editing. Who knows? But what I'm going to do is I am going to apply for some jobs. I don't think Dungannon are really good enough for me. I don't think one star is enough. If we look at the club we're at now, it's a two-star reputation. I don't want to be going back. So two star and up is what we'll be doing. I'm going to apply for a few of these. Hang on, let me check first. Slovak, they're insecure. We're not going to anywhere with insecure finances. We're going to check out Verona. They seem decent. I mean, there's no point even applying for Getafe. I'll apply for Tours. I can't see this happening, to be honest with you. Spartak, they... Hang on, I want to take back my Tours one, damn it. They, I forgot they're insecure. Spartak, they... I mean, the Serbian Super League, it seems like the exact same sort of situation. So we'll, we might have our work cut out there, but we'll apply for that job. Um, where else are we looking? Ajaccio, that could be interesting. I saw a few people suggest that in the comments. I don't think it's possible, though. This seems to be out of order now, the, the list they were in. Did I apply for Seneca? No, they were insecure. And we'll go for Verona. Oh, no, we already did. Okay, I'm really confused as to what I'm doing here. We applied for those two, and we didn't mean to apply for that one. I feel like I've messed up somewhere in this list. We didn't want them... Did, yeah, Seneca, I don't know what I'm doing, guys. I'm really confused. Why do some say applied and some not? If we look here, here we go. This is the easiest way to do it. Won't let you sort by applied. Wow, that's annoying. But anyway, that is the list. There are a few, I mean, there's an enormous amount under review. Most of these, I mean, Portuguese Premier League, that would be quality. I don't know if we can get a two and a half star, though. Have we improved enough um, or not? I don't know. That's the question. For those that were still suggesting to stay at AEZ, They've been a great start for us. They've been a nice place to start our career. But I don't think they're some, a team we can really take forward. Um, I mean, six teams unbeaten. Nobody really cares. For those that are wondering, if we look at this squad, really, you have to look from, basically, of these players, you've got basically three of the back four, uh, well, four of the back five, essentially, are all on loan. McLaughlin's awful. He can't replace them. Like, no, we'd have to get those players again. Magic Gomez, who has been our best player, our two best players, technically, in the, in the running, are both on loan. These two are on loan, and then these guys are all on loan. That's going to be an issue. And then you've also got other contract problems with Ramal won't sign a new deal, so he'll be off. He was our star man, valued at 200k when we first signed, but because he won't sign a deal, he w his value is going to be nothing. And he doesn't want to sign a new deal. Well, he does, but for 4k and I can't offer it. Then we're going to be losing uh, Andrew who wouldn't take a deal because he wasn't getting enough game time. Gavin Yessi is going to be going. We're going to be left with this bare bones set of players. So really, we'll have our work cut out. We'll have a bit of money wage-wise to spend, but it's going to be a lot of hard work. So if we do have to stay for another year, we may be in trouble. I don't know how we're going to do it, but hopefully we can find a job in this episode. That's the goal. Okay, first up, Ajaccio have been unsuccessful. It doesn't really surprise me. Um, we still have three that we're waiting on. I need to keep an eye to see when new one comes up because that's a new one for sure. I have to try and keep my eyes on it. Seneca, we didn't want. 
Uh, that'll be good. I don't think we'll ever get that, but that would be good. There, I think they're in the Champions League. This could be good. <sighs> Greek. Very, in my head, I feel like they're similar to Cyprus. I don't know why I always attribute them to be the same. We'll apply for Locomotive Moscow. You never know. Let's see, if, are the board upset with the things I've been playing for? Or is it still at 57? It's not going to highlight it. Is it still at 57? Um, we're just going to keep going. That entire This entire episode is just going to be me skipping forward. Just trying each time to get them. I'm pretty sure this Dundee one has just popped up. And I am well up for managing in Scotland. Same for this Slovakia one, could be interesting in the Czech Republic. I quite like to manage in countries where I've actually been, and that's been the case so far, and Czech Republic would also be another one on the list. Like, I quite like that. I like to know I've been to the country, understand the people, you know me, I'm a man of the people. <laughs> no, I'm only joking, but um, it would be quite interesting uh, to, to manage somewhere like that. For those that are wondering as well, uh, I don't want to manage in England, maybe towards the end of the save, but to start off with, it's something I... Um, I, most of my saves are based around England, like my previous journeyman that I've done off camera, I started off managing in Dover and then I managed um, Wigan for a little bit, so it's like I, I want to, obviously I did a lot of other clubs afterwards, but I, I don't want to be part of uh, the English system just yet, maybe if like Arsenal comes up, might be worth doing it, but we'll see, we'll see what goes throughout. Would just be nice to get an interview though, wouldn't it? This one is not a surprise, the Locomotive Moscow one, we were never going to get that. I didn't think I'd ever get a Russian first division job. But, I mean, it, it sums our season up. We're playing against Ernest Aradipa, who are quite frankly awful. And we're probably saving them from relegation because, I mean, they've not really done a right lot. They hadn't had a clear-cut chance until then. And I don't even know if that counts as one and that they're 2-0 up. Yeah, they've not, not had a clear-cut chance and they're 2-0 up. Free? No, let's just leave it at that. I would like a new job, please, football manager. Can I just go on holiday? Will they let me do that? Can I just say, uh, this guy, Christos Andrew, who everyone was loving at the start of the series, 12 games without scoring. So we're at the end of a game against Dirania, and as per usual, it's just pointless. I mean, we took the lead twice, we lost the lead twice. I don't care about these games, though. Like, we're safe. Nearly punched my other camera then. Nothing can happen in this game. Like, I, I just want to be looking for a new job and they're making me actually manage. How dare they? How very dare they? I assume this finishes 2-2. Don't really care. All Ramal is doing is finding himself a new club because he won't agree to sign for us, a little mug. Spanish second division, Cordoba. Surely I can get that. Maybe? I think literally I, two star might be my limit because Dundee haven't got back to me. They're just keeping quiet. I don't know what they're so busy doing. I mean, currently James McCake's do uh, McCake McPake is doing everything. The 32-year-old caretaker manager slash centre back. Let me guess, he's been starting himself every week, has he? Let's have a look. McPa no, he hasn't. Right, fair enough. I'll let you off there, mate. But give me the job. I want to manage in Scotland. Well, this is summing it up, isn't it? Lekia Poznan not having it. Three stars. Asteris Tripolis not having it. Three stars. I honestly think, oh, who cares about you, Kiriaku? Just go to the physio, go away. I honestly think we're at a point where Dundee is our only real hope. If we look down here at potential uh, jobs, I mean, we kind of want to be looking from very secure up. And very secure wise, I mean, Huesca, possibly, all the potential ones are in England. Which is annoying. Uh, the Cypriot first division, we could go to Akna. They're a worse side than us, not going to happen. Slovak, we could play uh, Rosenberok. That could be interesting. Go to Slovakia. Bulgaria, very interesting. Romania, I would take any of these jobs. Portugal, that would be great. But none of them, I think none of them are going to happen. We're going to just have to wait and see. I'm doing a little bit of preparation. I've been scouting essentially uh, every player of value. This list just keeps growing. Of anyone that's contract is expiring at the end of the season. So that I, if I get to a point where all my team leave, I can get some players in still. Just to show you guys, I tried to offer Romao a contract. 1.3 is all we can. He wanted 3 point something. If I do that, he's, he's not interested. doesn't want to talk to me. That's the way it goes. He's not staying. Sad, really. Okay, this is one that I would like to get, a Pisa. That would be quality. To manage in Italy, I don't think I've ever actually properly managed in Italy before. This could be one that's quite good. I think being in a second division, there's a big room for you to grow your managerial experience. They've got a little bit of money. They don't have any money. I don't know why I thought that was secure. They don't have any money. We're still going to apply for it, but I don't think we need to be going to an insecure financial team. 
don't think that's the one for me. So this is how we're getting on so far. Uh, Slovakko didn't want me, so I can't can't even get a club that's younger than me. How's that even possible? And Huesca fans laughed off my interest. Do you really, you think that low of me? I d that's just not very nice, is it? Come on. As it stands, just four jobs are left, and I have applied for all of them. Slovakko obviously turned me down. Dundee is probably the one I'm holding the most hope for. Um, but them or Pisa, I mean, Dundee would be my favourite out of those, I think, because I can't see, well, Slovakia's not happening, I can't see, uh, Cordoba, I'm not sure if it's Cordoba or Cordoba, I'm going to keep saying Cordoba, but, uh, yeah, I think Dundee would be the best, but we'll see. Hopefully some more come up as the season ends in May, like everyone else's seasons, maybe they sack them to get a new manager in over the summer, who knows. We may just be stuck here all summer, I have been doing some contingency plans and getting some players in, which we'll wait and see if we actually stay or not. And a shock, one of the jobs we wanted is not available. However, Carpi has popped up. I can't see that one happening, really. Um, they're not even on this list, apparently. What's their, I mean, their insecure finances. These just don't seem like the ones. I'm really gutted that this may be another year at AEZ. Or maybe we go till December or something. I don't know. We may have to have another season here. We'll see. I am desperate to leave, though. I didn't realise, but that was actually our final game of the season. I've been trying to get up free transfers, as you can see there. But that was the last game of the season. The Dunfermline job has just come available, which is in the Scottish Championship, which, of course, is the league below. I would be well up for that. Did Morton just get promoted? That's my dream job, guys. If anyone's wondering, this is my dream job, to manage Morton, if you can work out why. That, that has to be a save I do one day on this channel. But, Dunfermline, not only am I applying for it, uh, the board have slowly been losing faith in me because I keep applying for jobs. But to add on to it, I'm going to declare interest because I want that job. Where are we going? I think any manager would worth, a bit worth his salt would want that job. Now... Is that going to upset them? It's going to take a while to get through these next couple months as well because I have every league loaded and I feel like there's surely a lot of stuff going on. But as it takes us 50 minutes to skip one day so we can check to see if the board are annoyed with me or not. Um, I'm, of course, I'm open to Dunfermline uh, offers. It was 47. It's still... Come on, highlight it. It still says 47. But as it stands, there are not really job offers available. For some reason, the Dunfermline one isn't even appearing in this list. It's like there's something wrong. I don't really understand it. Let me try just ticking that and unticking it. No, I don't, I don't really get it, to be honest. But hey-ho, this is the setup we got at the moment. End of season awards popped up. Not that anyone really cares. Young player of the season, Magic Gomez. Um, can we get him for an extra year? They want some wage contribution. Maybe we'll see if we can arrange that. I think that's pretty fair. I am going to wait and see first if... I move clubs because I would like to take Magic Gomez with me for just how much he's impressed and surely he's got a big future ahead of him. Uh, Sign of the season, Panagiotu, that's fair enough. He's still got room to grow. He's been impressive in central midfield. Uh, goal of the season was Ramal and fans player of the season, obviously Magic Gomez and Chimonti, the two all season long I've been signing out as the best player. I don't think Ramal should be in the conversation there. But uh, somehow he got top goal score. I guess goals against the rubbish teams helped him out. Um, our average attendance was 378, which is just 4% full. That's embarrassing. End of season confidence review, no one really cares. Um, injuries, Sam Burn, we didn't have him for that time, so that's that's not even real. We didn't get him until January. Uh, we don't care about the training thing. We'll say that we'll return from pre-season as early as possible. Other than that, let's hope we still get the job somewhere. What are they doing? The board have announced plans to build a new stadium and are in the process of searching for suitable sites and possible investors. Really wanted to relocate the club back to their home city of Zakaki. I don't really know how you say it, if, if I said that correctly. The board have, however, pointed out this will not be a smooth process as it will be some time before. I've never seen this screen, in all fairness. That's quite cool. What I do want to say, though, is just a matter of seconds ago, I... Go away. No one cares about you. I don't care if... Yes, I want to manage dumb firmly. No one cares about you lot, though. Um... How upset are they? They don't really seem that upset by it. But yeah, a few moments ago, we told you we averaged like 400 people. We're in a 10,000 capacity stadium. I don't think we're paying that much for it. Can I see who else shares it? It's shared by nobody of interest. I mean, they're not in the first division. Paphos, it's, they're nobody. 
This is genuinely where I actually uh, went when I went to Cyprus was Paphos. I, I asked my mum the other day, which is quite interesting that we are playing in Paphos. But, I mean, uh, who cares? Why are you building a new stadium when financially we're a big chunk in the red and financially very, very well, it apparently says we're okay. We're not okay. Stop building stadiums right now. Bad news. The team that I have my heart set on, two stars, they may have been insecure, but I could do some actual work in Scotland. The fans laughed me away. Turnbull, no one wants you. Go away. But the fans laughed me away. I feel like that's a little bit rude. I could have, I could have done a job for you all. Feels like there's some sackings going on. Uh, as it still stands, though, they're not really interested in me. But we're going to go through some of these. We're going to, uh, we'll go for these guys. I don't know how much better are they than me. Their free start's not going to happen. I feel like this list is so broken. They're not updated together. We'll take uh, Harve C, but Hernan Crespo is their favourite. I mean, come on. And we'll take Huesca. We did mention it the other day, but their fans laughed us out of town. So, don't know how that one's going to go. But as it stands, um, I think we're going to be at AEZ for another season. And that upsets me a little bit. I won't lie. I am making transfers, though. So, it's going to be interesting to see. We might not have many players. Who knows what's going to be going on next year. I did try to get a few players... Um, that were on loan to join permanently. Taldul wanted too much money. It, could, it wasn't possible. Uh, not Tom Robson. Stilianu wanted too much money. And that was it. Uh, Sam Byrne, yeah, I couldn't afford him. He just wasn't interested. So maybe we'll renew the loans of a few of these players. Who knows? Uh, but I think we may have another season at AEZ. Who knows? Okay, I don't know if this is based off the players that are also leaving, but they've given me a hugely improved wage budget. And I feel like money has just come in. I, I think there have been new sponsorship deals because I was looking at this and it seems like there are some new, some, some more money coming in. More broadcast revenue, like 100k more. Like, it seems to be a bit of a difference. I don't know if it really is. There's a quick of a hard cut mid-sentence edit there. That's because I accidentally showed you transfers I had in mind and you weren't supposed to see them. So, we're going to make a slight budget change like this to give ourselves... A little bit of spending money, but that'll be more for signing on fees. That gives us like, well, this gives us 10k to buy players. That's not bad, you know. It's not bad at all. We may be staying here. Stiliano, uh, he's gone back home. Uh, our director of football is going because he wants 2k. Everyone wants so much money and we don't have any money. Uh, we released a lot of players, actually. Uh, Ramal, um, now that he's not doing anything yet, I mean, he doesn't, he just wants so much money. All these players are gone. Um is interesting uh, we lost a lot of money last year we have no players left it's not going too well over here in cyprus guys literally every job even like this one just a no one swedish side they don't want me i think we've got another year in cyprus interesting can't even get a job in the finnish premier league struggling to find one here i mean we're at a point where I even applied for Glenn Torren, who honestly, <clears throat> I don't think I want to manage there. Dunfermline looks like it's going to Darren Ferguson. We can't go to Sweden. Uh, AFC Ula won't have us. Maybe flipping FC Lati will. No, they're not going to take us. Nobody wants to hire us. It's over, guys, unless we go to England or stay in Cyprus. So, guys, three hours 40 in. We're applying for every single one that appears. Yet to get one as of yet. I'm going to keep going. But I've been recording this now for 3 hours 40. And like I need to just turn this off now. And what's going to happen. Is I'm going to fast forward now. Until September the 1st. You are either going to see. All my new signings. As the AEZ manager. In the next episode. Or you will see me at a new club. On the 1st of September. I will try to keep it vague in the title of the next video. So you guys don't know. But all I'm going to say is you have seen I have applied for every job out of England I possibly could and I've not even had an interview yet. So I think this year, maybe, we need to just see what we can get at this club. See if we can do anything with this club because at the moment, I don't think we can leave. I think we need to up our, um, just our whole reputation, everything. I still can't get a coaching course. I recently asked for one. I can't ask again. The club apparently don't have money. But next episode, hopefully, 
We've either got a whole six squad and I'm going to show you guys how we're going to dominate the league this year. We'll try and make it a bit of a quicker season next year as we power through it. Or we'll see if we go somewhere else. I'm sorry I couldn't find a new job, but I tried my best. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Smash that like button if you did. Subscribe if you're new around here. Have a fantastic day, guys, and we'll see you all next time. See ya!